I remember that at the time, obviously the, the number one concern for everybody was evacuating people that may be in the path of, of the inundation zone, right? And obviously an Oroville, or Oroville dam, um, you know, the type of dam that it is with the type of owner with the Department of Water Resources, of course had an inundation map ready to go in case of dam failure. However, as I mentioned before, this was not a dam failure. This was a, a, a spillway failure. And therefore, we did not have an inundation map at the time that would give us the parameters upon which the inundation uh, wave would go and where it would go, most importantly. So I remember thinking that when we evacuated, it was a, you know, it was an, an immediate evacuation order for Butte County, which precipitated other evacuation orders with multiple counties, which definitely um, tax the system, the transportation system, and its ability to carry people out of the zone. I remember a lot of heroic actions. I remember, you know, CHP officers going into the, the, the inundation zone, um, uh, you know, in an effort to help people evacuate. I remember Cal OES staff driving from Sacramento, Code 3, into Butte County to help to support the evacuation as well as the potential response and recovery. But most importantly, I remember vividly um, seeing, you know, all of the people um, trying to get out of the potential inundation zone. Um, but obviously at the time, there was a lot more questions than we had answers as this was an unprecedented event. The largest no notice um, evacuation in California's history, not our first dam failure, but certainly the most recent, the most impactful, the most consequential. California is in a much better place with dam safety after um, the Oroville spillway incident. Um, we didn't just take one step forward, we took many steps forwards. And not just on the emergency management side with emergency action planning, but also on the on the engineering, the structural integrity of the dams with all the work that the Department of Water Resources Division of Safety of Dams have, has done to not only assess the, the, um, the integrity of the of spillways, but also the dams themselves. We were the number one dam safety program in the nation before Oroville. We have taken that position and just made it that much better. And truly it's in response to what happened at the Oroville Spillway incident.